At the Canal and River Trust, we are really proud of our Revolution Walk. It celebrates everything about the Industrial Revolution in Birmingham and in Smethwick. At one end of the Revolution Walk is Birmingham Roundhouse. This is a Grade 2 star listed building, which is the former stables of the Birmingham Corporation. And from there, you go onto the Revolution Walk onto the Birmingham Canal. We stood at the entrance to the old mainline canal in Smethwick. But just next door to the old mainline canal is the new mainline canal to get from Birmingham to Wolverhampton, which cut the route by seven miles. It's all very confusing. So what you need to do is come for a walk down here and you'll see a canal which was engineered by James Brindley. And 40 years later, there's a canal that was engineered by Thomas Telford because he wanted to straighten the route and make it faster. Amongst all these canals, you'll also see lots of historic structures and behind me you've got Brass House Lane Pump House, which pumped water between the old main line and the new main line canals. We've been awarded a green flag for the section of canal between Birmingham all the way to Chances Glassworks and this really shows how special this section of canals are. You've got a green corridor right in the middle of an industrial area which is surrounded by roads, the railway lines. Get on the canal here and you will experience an urban oasis. In Galton Valley, there's a stunning nature reserve packed with wildlife. We've come from the old main line of the Birmingham Canal and we're about to get onto the new main line of the Birmingham Canal and we're right in the middle of Galton Valley, which really is a peaceful haven, right in the middle of Smethwick. Galton Bridge was built in 1829 by Thomas Telford. At its time when it was built, it was the longest single span bridge in the world. It's an epic structure, just look behind me now, and it's quite magnificent. It's grade one listed, and this forms the heart of the Revolution Walk. This is one of Thomas Telford's dramatic improvements to the old Birmingham Canal. Engine Arm Aqueduct behind me is just one of these structures, it's grade two star. So we stood on the new main line of the Birmingham Canal and this is the straighter route from Wolverhampton to Smethwick. Just up the way is the old main line which meanders its way around corners and so on with locks. And just across on the engine arm aqueduct is the engine arm canal, which takes you onto the engine arm. So in this very short space, we've got three different canals, all part of the Revolution Walk. If you'd like further information about this Revolution Walk, log on to our website, canalrivertrust.org.uk. And there's a free guide to the walk along with them, download of the map of the route. I hope you've enjoyed the highlights of the Revolution Walk and I hope it's inspired you to go on a walk soon.